I'm here today with the band Del Luna, who have just put out their new album in January called Moogly Boogly. So, start off, what does Del Luna mean? Uh, honestly, it's just the name of the founder of the town, Pensacola, which is where I'm actually from, uh, Tristan Del Luna, who founded Pensacola. And so, I've been in a few other bands, and I really like to just kind of name them with things that kind of just correlate to me. So, I mean, I'm from Pensacola, so I just figured that it would be nice. I mean, he's actually from Pensacola, too, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yep. That is kind of nice to get to have, like, kind of like a local call out, like, hey, I'm from this place. Anyone who's from there is going to know specifically yeah. that, but nobody else is. Yeah, you'll definitely know it. If you're from Pensacola, mm -hmm. you'll definitely know Deluna. You'll recognize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Pensacola. Like, they have, like, Deluna coffee and, like, wine, and, like, there's a lot of stuff there that you're recognized mm -hmm. by the name, so. I'm not from there, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your album's called Moogly Boogly. What does that mean? Is that just nonsense um, words, or does that one have a meaning? Uh, no, it's it doesn't really have much of a meaning behind it, as much of like a story. Like, I was on the way to work one day, and like I was going into the gas station to get like a drink, and like there was this like Indian dude at the as the cashier, and like I when I was leaving, I was like you know like bye, have a good day, you know like normal stuff and like I swear he was like moogly boogly and so like I told it to them and we just ran with it we just ran with it and just named the album and two songs on there after <laughs> it. I like it um so on that album what do you think is the strongest song which is your favorite Ooh, like um, our personal favorite yeah you can just go down the line if everybody's got a f if you got the same one if you got go different ahead, ones Frankie. go ahead Frank probably not dumb Mono for pro mono or daydreams probably, uh, but no, definitely not dumb. Um, I don't know. It's it's hard because you know, like I I really like to like the songs that everyone else is liking most. You know, because like I, I wrote them all, so I mean they kind of are equal <laughs> to me. Mm -hmm. Because I mean I, not really one of them means more than the others. But I mean I don't know. We've got a lot of really good feedback on dumb which was kind of ironic to me because like we that was no that was, yeah that we put almost no effort into it mm -hmm. and like I wrote that one in like that was kind of like a five minutes <laughs> yeah like we had the whole album we were like we need more songs and so like I just kind of wrote it in like five minutes and it's just been kind of funny that like everyone's been like oh we love dumb dumb's the favorite one yeah. and, we're, and I'm like but what about <laughs> mono? Like, I, the ones like, we actually spent, put time like, into. Like a week riding this one, and like it has such deep meaning, and like and no one, everyone's like, but dumb's awesome. And it's like, but it means nothing. So it's just been kind of how it's been to me, you know. So I mean, I it's pretty. I dumb. guess personally, though, I, mono would probably be my favorite, just mm -hmm. because like I put so much work into it. I like UG. Just oh, it's groovy. UG. Mm -hmm. UG. I like to groove. Like That's it. not even how you say it's it. Not how you say it, but whatever. Uh, it's it? spelled UG. Uh, 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 uh. Gotta have that phlegm. Okay. I don't know about that. Nobody else can know how Nobody's they're supposed to say the song when they say it I right. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, even our own bass player can't <laughs> say that. Yeah. So, how'd you guys all meet and why'd you decide, oh, let's get together, form a band? Um, I Me guess and Jacob known each other since. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've known. Sixth grade? Dylan since middle school. So, like, sixth grade for him, seventh grade for me. We were in a. We were in band together, and we both played saxophone. And then, when I was in eighth grade, he was Rock in seventh on. grade. We were in the jazz band together, mm. and so like that's how we met. And then like one of my really good friends and his cousin, like kind of like reminded us like, hey, y'all know each other, y'all should hook up. But like me and Frankie, he was here for a visit day when I went to the University of Mobile, and like I was his host dorm that he stayed in, and I'm just kind of lucky, it, I guess. It just kind of mm -hmm. just happened. And like me and me and Frankie actually like started the band, and then like it was just us, and it really wasn't like working with just two yeah. people. And mm -hmm. We needed somebody, and like we had another bass player, but man, he just did not like seem into it at all. And like, I mean, nothing against him or anything, but I mean, it just takes a lot of effort to actually put in the time to like writing an album and like gigging and like actually putting in the effort towards being a band, like the time behind it is just so astronomical in itself and he just wasn't as into it as like we wanted and then so like I got reminded that I knew Dylan and mm -hmm. like he could actually play well enough to actually do the stuff that I was wanting to him and like it just turns out that he's actually like 
took the stuff that me and Frankie were doing and like put it to the next level because like half mm -hmm. the stuff that we've been doing were, I mean, I'm not gonna trash on it because I've been writing it, but I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> like he just, he took it to the next level. So yeah. it's been really beneficial that I was reminded <laughs> that yeah. I knew It's probably needed to be in band in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were in jazz band, you're playing saxophone, what made you want to switch over to this like ambient kind of sound? What made you choose that? I don't. Jazz is still my heart. Jazz is still your heart. Yeah, Hold uh, the saxophones. I would buy 15 more albums with the saxophones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not we actually have like for our for like our live sets, we have like a blues section to where like we just kind of jam for like however long we seem fit to where mm -hmm. we just like blues jam it up and I mean, so I mean it's. We actually switch instruments. Yeah, we, yeah. we do switch yeah. instruments. So, I mean, we're not in our typical spots, but I mean like. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, you know, like a lot of the stuff that I do write is kind of bluesy, you know, like because I don't really think of blues as like a, a genre, it's more of like a style of how you write the music. And so like I think a lot of times like the like the bluesy aspects do kind of shine through with stuff that I'm writing. So I mean I I mean I love jazz and it's always been fun to me, you know, like I wish that I still had an outlet to play mm -hmm. saxophone, but you know, it's kind of hard as a College age student just be like, yo, I play saxophone. Who wants to hear me? Everyone. That's the answer. Um, Everyone's in you're, jazz. You're you, you, you will have a saxophone song on the next album. Yeah. I, I'll promise you right now. Me and Dylan we'll break them out. We we'll have break them out. We can have awesome. a duel. Awesome. We'll break them out. I need a song dedicated to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the response been like to this album so far? Dumb. More yeah. than I expected. More than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. We've Weird, had people yeah. from Germany and yeah, Japan. Was we had Singapore. In Singapore, was it Singapore, like all over the world. Oh, uh, did not yeah, expect that. Was, there yeah. was these chicks in Australia that like Australia. Like we we did like a huge like social media push like like because of, like right now that's kind of like the big thing. Everyone's like super into social yeah. media, obviously. So I mean, like we were thinking the best way to get the album out there was obviously over social media and all that stuff. So like we just went and like found stuff and kind of put ourselves out there on the internet and like we've had a really good surge back almost mm -hmm. like we were very very surprised to find out that we had people in like all these other countries not even that other states too like yeah we'll get messages on instagram from people that none of us know and i didn't yeah, expect like that arkansas new york and california and we're like Dude, like half the people in Mobile don't even like, know who, <laughs> who we are. But yeah, we have someone in like New York that's like, "Hey, we love your music," and it's like, "Cool, we'll tell people about it." Yeah. Uh -huh. So. All right. Well, definitely. Thanks for talking about your album. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go home and listen to it and wait for that saxophone song. That's just <laughs> waiting, looking for that. Um, coming up next, we're going to have two songs from the band.